Well, not knowing anything how you start to see it, there's somebody suggested, and I forget who now, you know, that why don't I ring a bell and greet the people? So, that's what we did. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to La Mama ETC Experimental Theatre Club dedicated to the playwright and all aspects of the theater. I only can find what is missing by going to the theater and going to La Mama because right there I can be taken by this miraculous world called surprise. At La Mama, we're important, you know, we matter. And that sense of self-esteem and importance gives you imagination. The world comes to La Mama. Legendary for all the risks that we're taking there and very, you know, inspiring to people. La Mama is a place where the sky is the limit. Do it all, do everything. It's a place for you to explore. The fact that they branched out in those directions, like Culture Hub, is really perfectly placed for moving into the 21st century. The institution that is La Mama is growing. It's not just about us trying to present the next best production, but it's about the artist. La Mama has a smell of brick and costumes upstairs in storage and ancient sweat in the best sense. It changes your chemistry when you come back into a space like this and all the history comes to the surface. Something that you feel from the walls when you go out to the lobby and you see all the pictures and you see the posters and you see, you know, all this diversity and all those different flavors that have performed here. It makes you feel, you know, like it's an artist community that you're a part of. I come here and I go to the first floor of Great Jones Street where I always rehearse and I just automatically my body goes, I'm home and I can do anything I want. Doesn't mean it's always good, but I can do whatever I want and it's loved. But Alan Stewart knew how to allow the individual to be himself in the most risky, in the most dangerous situations, which is the only way you can ever achieve self-discovery. Working in an uh, in opera world, going to Covent Garden, to Paris Opera, to Vienna or to the Metropolitan Opera, or doing theater uh, on Broadway at Lincoln Center or the Comédie Française in Paris, all my uh, international career, uh, it was nothing compared to my work at La Mama. I mean, this, this really was uh, where I did the best of myself, where Ellen got out of me the best of myself, and that's when um, really I felt that I, I can call myself an artist. La Mama, Ellen, and that warmth, loving, maternal openness to the whole wide world. She had a very, very strong artistic sense and she was very demanding. And she was herself composer and director and did so much, which developed and developed and have a real sense of what it means to make theater in a free way, in a free space, but with a quality that can touch people. Her vision of creating was very multidisciplinary. 
As Ellen continued on her journey within theater and, and as an artist herself, her definition of a playwright expanded. Philosophy is an exchange and a touching with our fellow person. We do believe very much that we are one world, that every man is the other man. It is very important to establish this fact through communication and so to go beyond language and we use music to do this. Mm -hmm. And so we're exploring the big music, a beautiful music to share with you. I think Ellen, not doing only the theater, she was really opening the mind of the people, she was really crossing the border. Ellen's funeral was one of the most fantastic theatrical experiences I'd ever been to. God knows, moving, well I guess any funeral is moving, but this in particular, the breadth, is that the right word? Her reach for generations of people literally across the world. I mean, you'd have to go to some heavy-duty political figure to come up with someone who had so much impact to so many people mm. across the globe. Her arms stretched very wide, didn't they? Now that Mia has, has uh, taken the helm, it's more a sense of shared responsibility in terms of what this place has been and what this place should continue to be with good changes being made. As long as there's the need for understanding each other artistically that La Mama is going to exist. We need physical theater. We need music of other cultures. We need, you know, the politics and the the angst and the hysterical laughter of other cultures. So La Mama has to exist. There is no other place like it. None. It's incredibly rich, diverse community, La Mama family. When we say family, everybody thinks like something close, something we don't, we understand each other right away. No, it's not that easy. Actually, it's an incredible effort, incredible uh, curiosity among this diverse group to understand each other, to communicate each other, and to make this world better. I believe that curiosity is the mother of intelligence, and I think Right now, uh, in the history of La Mama, we have been curious more than ever before. So I think this is going to take us to future.